and the exciting return to school for tens of thousands of students and teachers. The first day of school is now in the books. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. And I'm Lisa Hughes. In Worcester, the return to class went pretty smoothly all in all. WBZ's Christina Hager's live in Worcester. And Christina, the overriding sentiment today, things feel pretty normal, which is pretty good. Yeah, you know, Lisa, for the last couple of years, our first day of school reports have been largely about safety and COVID precautions. Today, it really felt different here. Welcome back. This year is the first year in three years that we've actually felt a bit of normalcy anymore. Masks are optional. Parents say they feel more comfortable. And the principal? It's a gift. It's a gift to be back in person, eyeball to eyeball, seeing smiling faces, interacting with kids, and just seeing the sheer joy of them being back with us in person. I was mad about some that school went out for two months. Jace Hunt's dad says it's a good feeling. I went in there today, you know, I mean, it's not any more crowded than a, a store is. What's your favorite part of going to school? Why do you like it so much? Paperwork. Some kids like seeing friends, recess, lunch. Jace, he likes paperwork. Just a little bit of paperwork. <laughs> I only did one paper today. There will be plenty more papers crossing desks here at Worcester Schools. We're good. A city with a new superintendent at the helm. Lots of changes this year in Worcester that had started last year but are actually being implemented this year. So we've taken on transportation under us um, and we changed our student information system. Two new computer systems that had brief unexpected outages on this first morning, touching off momentary panic. Before, it was right back to the routine. I'm so excited we're here. Day one. Hold it up. <laughs> in the books. I'm happy to get back to school. Back to school. She said it. You know, like so many other schools across the state, across the country, Worcester here is dealing with some staffing shortages. So we'll have more on that topic coming up in another report here at 6 o'clock. For now, we're live in Worcester. Christina Hager, WBZ News. We'll see you at 6. Christina, thank you.